tell me about any pets you had growing up. If you didn't have one, which would you have liked and why? Well, I did not have any pets growing up, but if I were to have one, I would probably have a gerbil or a hamster because I'm always curious about how, and the hamster wheel, how they're able to work so hard and just run so much because I really love to run and it's just really weird just trying to see a hamster just run nowhere, but just exercise just because they just feel like it. It would also be cool to learn about it because it's a small animal and you can kind of bond with it and it wouldn't be too much of a hassle or too much cleaning up in, in, on, in terms of the entire house and I would just have to just clean up the cage and the dribble itself. I have not really seen too many people with dribbles but it would be really cool to own one because it's just something new and it's probably going to be a good experience, a good learning experience to learn about this new animal because I've always been interested about it and it's pretty cool. Tell us about a situation in which your values were challenged. How did you respond and what did you learn from it? A situation when my values were challenged was a few years ago during a soccer match. Well, it was the finals of our house league and I was facing a really scary team because there's a, there's a few big guys on our team and I was quite intimidated by them after our previous match when they were pretty aggressive and I was just not too confident to play up against them, especially when I was a striker and I've been playing defense basically almost my whole life up until that season. I responded to that situation because I had values of hard work and that hard work would would basically be like if I work hard then I can accomplish many things but during that time my values of hard work were challenged because I just wanted to sit out and not play at all and I was even feeling a bit sick. However with some with consult consultation with my parents especially my dad um, he helped me to be more confident and go to the game and I ended up talking to my coaches which took a lot of pressure off because I explained how I was feeling about the situation and they knew I worked pretty hard, practiced almost every day in the summer and I ended up scoring a goal and we ended up winning that match. So I learned that you got, I just got to do things and just be confident in what I do. If you had 24 hours of vacation from work and unlimited resources, how would you choose to spend that day? Well, if I was on a day of vacation, I would just first, I would fly to Europe somewhere, possibly like Germany, where I would love to go because Germany is a nice place 
good sports in lots. And I would probably just spend most of my day just sightseeing and especially just getting running gear and running around the area because I like to run and running helps me explore a lot of different and cool places and get to learn the environment around just I guess Berlin more and Germany has a rich history and I've never been there before and they also have won many World Cups and I would want to like do cool things there and learn a lot of interesting things and of unlimited resources I can go to different museums especially about the world wars and just enjoy myself there for a day and fly back at night.